Hey guys, it's Eric and today we're going to be looking at the Atuvis Tag Bluetooth Tracker, which works on the best Bluetooth tracker network out there, Apple's Find My. Stay tuned towards the end of the video where I'm actually going to pair this Bluetooth tracker to other Find My Bluetooth trackers like the Apple AirTag and the Chipolo One Spot to the brand new Atuvis Tag and see where it stands up against each other. I do want to thank Atuvis for sending this out to me for a full honest review. If you happen to be new to Bluetooth trackers. They are simple little devices that connect to your phone via Bluetooth. And if you happen to misplace your Atuvis tag, say it's connected to your keys or your backpack, really anything that you can attach this to, you can simply go into the Find My app and make it ring so you can go listen to it and find it in no time. But if you happen to misplace your item beyond Bluetooth range, not to worry, you can mark the item as lost inside the Find My app, which will activate the community to help you find it. So if another iPhone user or another Apple uh, like iPad device or something with um, Find My Bluetooth on, it can actually report the location where it connected and then you get a little notification let you know where it your item is. Now understand that this is not a GPS tracker, it is a Bluetooth tracker that has to be a phone or something with with the Find My app um, so it can report that location where connected. The nice thing about the Find My community is that it's probably the largest community out there with over 1 billion active devices all looking for your misplaced things. So the bigger the community, the faster you find your stuff. But obviously not losing your stuff in the first place is more beneficial. So what's nice is the Find My app does have a notification of when you leave something behind behind so say you got a restaurant you leave your keys behind as you're walking away maybe get into the parking lot you're going to get a notification on your phone to let you know to go back and get your keys which is really cool and it saved me a bunch of times of leaving my stuff behind i can tell you it is probably one of the best features of the find my app so and if you're worried about someone stalking you with one of these dropping in your wallet or your, your car or your purse, Apple does have an anti-stalking feature that if you do have an iPhone, it will actually notify you that at UVIS tag is moving with you, following you around. That way you can find it and disable it. And this leads into one of the most unique features of the at UVIS tag is the power button that's on it that you use to sync up and to turn it on actually can turn off the unit. Also, unlike other Bluetooth trackers, once it's on, it's on until you remove the battery or the battery dies with the at UVIS tag, you can actually hold it down for three seconds and it will turn it off. So if you do need to disable it, if it's following you around, you don't have to open it up and remove the battery. You can just hold down the button for three seconds as the Find My app does instruct you to hold it down and disable it that way, which is a lot easier. Now this same feature can be a huge benefit to the user. For instance, if you want to turn it off temporarily, you can now easily do that with this on off button unlike other Bluetooth trackers that you have to remove the entire battery. Now say for instance you happen to lose your at your vis tag when it actually is turned off. They do have a NFC tag built in just like the air tag. So when you scan it with your phone if you um, mark your um, tag as lost you can leave a contact number and so when someone scans it they will see your contact and they can call you and get it. Now the awesome feature that's built in only in the at UVIS tag and not into the air tag is when someone scans it with the NFC tag, it will actually turn back on. So even if that person who finds it doesn't call you, you can now see a update location of where connected. So hopefully you can see a benefit in that. Yes, the air tag has NFC, but doesn't have the ability to turn it on and turn it off like the at UVIS tag. So that's a really nice feature to have. Now in comparison, to some other air tags and Chipotle one spots that all work on the same find my network the at UVIS tag is a little bit bigger coming in at almost 11 millimeters thick compared to the air tag that's only eight millimeters thick and the Chipotle one spot that's about seven millimeters thick now as far as the 
the width, you're talking about 38.5 millimeters thick comparing to the Chipola one spot, about 38. And then you have the air tag about 32. So the Atuvis tag is not the smallest thing, but it is definitely a little bit louder than the air tag. So when it comes to sound, air tag is about really light at 84.4 um, decibels where the Atuvis tag came in at 93.6 but it is not the loudest of all the um, find my bluetooth trackers the Chipola one spot comes in at almost 99 decibels and i would say the sound is extremely important in finding your things quickly and easily because if you can't hear it when you play to ring to find it you can't find it at all so having something that you can hear is extremely important and how long it's going to play so i'm going to play them out for you so you can make a decision of which one you can hear best When it comes to the water rating, the at UVIS tag comes in at IP57, very similar to the air tag of IP67, so it has the same water rating, but the Tripolo one spot only comes in at IPX5, so not as good of a water rating. Now, what's also important is the Bluetooth distance. The at UVIS tag can go up to 400 feet, or at least that's what they say. The air tag doesn't give a rating, and the Tripolo one spot has a rating of up to 200 feet. I have tested the AirTag in Chipotle One Spot in a max distance test where the AirTag got less than 100 feet and the Chipotle One Spot got over 500 feet. Now all three of these Bluetooth trackers that work with the Find My app, you can actually have Siri find your tracker. So if you're at home and your phone is on, it can actually ring it just by asking Siri. Ring my shed key. Looking for shed key. It's nearby. Pinging shed key now. And when it comes to attaching this to keys, the at UVIS tag does have a key ring hole, which is a huge advantage over the air tag where you have to buy accessories to be able to attach this to things. The Chipotle one spot also has that key ring hole, so that's a nice feature. Now, one of the biggest issues I have with Bluetooth trackers is their battery life, if they're replaceable or rechargeable. And the at UVIS tag has a one year battery life with a CR2032 battery, which is exactly the same as the AirTag and also the Chipola One Spot. The issue I had with the Ant UVIS tag and the battery is actually changing it. They do have a video online where they show you how to open this up and change the battery, but I found it to be extremely difficult to open. They do mention that this is a safety feature so uh, kids can't easily open it and swallow the battery, but I found it way too hard for an adult to open it up. I actually had to use a knife and have these little knife marks on it. So I did find that to be extremely uh, inconvenient, but then again, you're only doing this once a year or so. Overall, the at UVIS tag is a nice Bluetooth tracker. There's a lot of nice features. I love that it has the on and off button that you can temporarily disable it. I love that it has an NFC sticker so someone can scan it. Would love to see that it mentions please scan with your phone so you can return this to the proper owner or something to instruct someone who happens to find it. But overall, I'm extremely happy with this. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.